Welcome to the Revelation of Jesus. This is episode 14. Please bow your heads with me because there's so much to go into today. Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for the ability and to open your word. Give us your spirit to understand and help us to see another revelation of you today is our prayer in Jesus name. Amen. So as I said in an early video that the school of inter prophetic interpretation that I'm using is historicist. So as we're now going into the seven churches, the messages of the seven churches, I want also to highlight that each of these churches represent a time period in church history. So Ephesus represents the first century church, uh, the first apostolic church, pure, purity. And so today we're looking at Revelation chapter 2, verses 8 through 11, the church of Smyrna, okay? And Smyrna uh, means crushed, or it can mean myrrh, like the, the ointment that was used at the burial of Jesus. And crushed is very appropriate because Smyrna represents the church of the second and third uh, century where they were under persecution under Emperor De De Diocletian. Diocletian. Uh, yeah. So I'll get to that in a minute. But here's, here's, let's jump right in. Starting from verse 8. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things says the first and the last who was dead and came to life. So we know who that is. The first and last is Jesus. And he says, I know your works. Copos, right? Like, like Ephesus, they labor to exhaustion. Work fingers to the bone, right? And he says, but I also understand your tribulation. See, Smyrna was home and it was center to emperor worship. It was also home of Homer. Remember Homer the poet? Not Homer Simpson, Homer the poet of the Iliad fame. And so, you know, the church right in, 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 in Smyrna was under heavy persecution, right? He says, and, and I know your poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of those who say they're Jews and not, but they're a synagogue of Satan. See, Smyrna also had a large Jewish population. And these Jews, remember, the early Christian church came out of Judaism. So this, the, the, some Jews were upset and they um, began persecuting the early church. And so it says here, as we continue, Jesus is saying, do not fear any of those things which are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw you, some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will have tribulation 10 days. Now, this is the first time we've seen the number 10. And 10 days, John's church would remember, wait a minute, tested for 10 days. Oh, that's Daniel. Daniel chapter 1, verse 12 to 15. We won't have time to read it, but make notes 10 days, right? This is the story when Daniel and his three friends were brought to King Nebuchadnezzar's palace and they refused to eat the food of the king's table. And so he asked, can we, can we be tested for 10 days? And they, 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 it's, instead of eating the king's food, they went the vegetarian route, drinking only water. And at the end of the 10 days, King Nebuchadnezzar found them smarter, wiser, better than everyone else. And so Jesus is saying to the church, listen, you will be tested and you will have tribulation for 10 days, but be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. So here's the thing. In Bible prophecy, there is a principle called the day to year, day to year principle. And I want you to go to Numbers chapter 14, verse 34. Numbers, write it down, Numbers chapter 14, verse 34. Numbers is one of the five books of Moses, so it's found there. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers chapter 14, verse 34. It says... According, let's start from verse 33. And your son shall be shepherds in the wilderness 40 years and bear the brunt of your infidelity. 
unto your carcasses are consumed in the wilderness according to the number of the days in which you spied out the land, 40 days. For each day you shall bear your guilt one year, namely 40 years. So this is a story of when Caleb and, John, Caleb and Joshua went with 10 other spies to Canaan and they came back with report and the Israelites refused to believe them. And so here's God saying, okay, because you did not believe, you will spend 40 years in the wilderness. Another example of this principle is found in Ezekiel. Ezekiel is the book right before the book of Daniel. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 5 and 6 says, um, starting from verse 4, God is telling Ezekiel, Lie on your left side and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it. According to the names, the numbers of the days that you lie on it, you shall bear the iniquity. For I have laid on you the years of their iniquity according to the number of the days, 390 days. So you shall bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. And when you have completed them, lie again on the right side and you shall bear the iniquity of the house of Israel for 40 days. And I have laid on you a day for each year. So when we look at Revelation and, and, and back, we're back in Revelation chapter 10, where he says, listen, for every 10 days, you will suffer 10 days of tribulation. We historicists believe, applying the principle day to year, that's 10 years, that this represents the persecution, the 10 year persecution that began in the year AD 303 to AD 313 by Emperor Diocletian, where he, he persecuted the Christian church. So there was a 10 day tribulation that Smyrna Pass went through, but this is where prophecy, right? Historicists, we look at this and we can also see in history, wait a minute, there was a 10 year period of persecution. And so this represents, Smyrna represents that time in church history when that happened. And so now John is letting Smyrna know, listen, if you are faithful, you will receive the crown of life. And he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Why? Because in Revelation chapter 1, we discovered that Jesus has the keys of death and Hades. And so this is the second message that John received from Jesus for the church of Smyrna to us as well. And that is today's lesson on the revelation of Jesus from my yellow chair homework for you tomorrow. I want you to read Revelation chapter 2 verses 12 to 17. Revelation chapter 2 verses 12 to 17. May God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.